Hi everyone! Today I got this! It's a Nook Glow Light Plus e-reader. So it's kind of like the Amazon Kindle, but it's a Nook Barnes & Noble version of the e-reader. So I got this from Barnes & Noble, the store itself, and it's uh, $129 plus tax. But I believe you can get it for cheaper online for like open box one for like around $80 to $100 tax free. Yeah. Alright, let's open it up. So open up, you get the USB cable, just a micro USB cable, and there's an instruction booklet. Welcome, oh, welcome to your glow light. Here's the actual unit. It's gold. It looks pretty. Oh, super light. So here's the actual unit. So it says charge <laughs> so i might need to have to charge it and there's like a little thin layer of film that i can take it out later and on the bottom is a charge port or data transfer usb super light yeah this uh, unit have like light control and controlled light so that's really cool i actually have an older uh, third generation kindle keyboard as well but this one the battery wouldn't hold charge so that's why i got the new one i have some book that i want to read um, let's see, is there other thing in the box? Oh, that's all. This whole box is just, that's all. Cable and the unit itself. Super short, open box. So, yeah, hopefully I could play with it a little bit. So it support like EPUB and PDF, which on Amazon Kindle doesn't really support EPUB out of the box. You have to like convert the file to like Mobi or Amazon proprietary format. So that's why I choose um, non Amazon Kindle for now. Hey, so power button is on the side. Just find out. You press for three seconds and it will turn on and it's booting on. So this is the first time booting on. So I have to do like setting, like language setting, time zone setting and those things. So it's touch screen as well and uh, resolution is like 300 dpi. So it's really high resolution. And it's like you can see the back. Oh, it's ready. Let's get started. Ooh. Ooh. Choose your time zone. Where is Central Time? Next. Oh, enter my wireless password. I'm going to show you. <laughs> This keyboard is pretty responsive, surprisingly. Or like this is an e-ink technology, so in case if you don't know what e-ink is, they are like different from regular tablet, iPhone, iPad. Uh, it uses like this special technology that only refresh when it's needed, so you can uh, save a lot of power when it's like showing just this page. The battery life is supposed to be like weeks, six weeks to eight weeks per charge, which is amazing for electronic devices. Oh yeah, like my watch Pebble is actually eating technology. Also, I only have to charge it once every week, so it's awesome. All right, continue. What if I connect it? Sign to your Nook account, which I don't have, so I'm gonna set up. All right, so this is after like a couple of days of using the Barnes and Noble Nook e-reader. Uh, just have some uh, tiny thought, not really a full review. So I've been using it just to read a book, a full text book, uh, a text book. It's called The Big Free uh, that I bought. Um, it's actually um, pretty easy to read. The light is really nice. Like at nighttime, you can adjust the brightness, and it can go pretty bright in daytime. Even without light, it's pretty readable. Also, so that's a really nice touch. Just wish that had like auto um, auto adjust for light. Like in the dark time, it would dim itself. That'd be even better. But it's a cheap model, I guess. Doesn't have that option. And the battery, of course, is super great. Even with lights on. It after several days of use, battery barely dropped much. And um, let's see, other thing, other thoughts. Oh yeah, I also load some um, Chinese book in there. Um, it doesn't support uh, Chinese EPUB natively. Like it would just show blocks of words, like square, square, square. Um, but after like converting um, like some some coding, <laughs> like some source code, I changes on the computer using uh, what's that called Caliber, and I was able to get like Chinese characters show up. And yeah, I think 
almost all the words shows up. Nothing, not really show up so far that from what I'm seeing. So that's that's cool. But just take the extra steps. And let's see. And also try like um, what's that called? Um, comic book, animation book. So I download an EPUB animation book. The screen is six inch. A little small for um reading comic book. But I put a Conan, Detective Conan. Let's see if I can show you that. <coughs> Here it is. Um, can you see it? So the text is readable, but it's on the small side. Even for me, like good eyes, side is is still. It's very clear because it's 300 DPI resolution. No complaint on that part, but it's just not super comfortable. Yeah. So in the end, I end up buying another re reader from uh, Kobo, which they offer an 8 inch one, which is 2 inch greater. So that should give you more screen stay for me, green screen stay for comic book reading. But otherwise, it loads really fast. Like comic book, like heavy, image heavy, it just loads super fast as well. Yeah, so overall, it's, it's, it is a really nice e reader. And um, super live, long battery life. Yeah, I, I would recommend people getting it if you're um, just want to read books on the go and don't really care about reading comic book or small text, things like that. And I didn't really try to shop or anything yet. Yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna actually gonna return it and get the Kobo actually. All right, thanks for watching this open box. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. JS Adventure is a snippet of our daily lives and travel. JS Adventure Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. See you guys next time. Bye bye.